me see. Oh, look out. There's somebody else super jumping in, so let's quickly lay an ink mine and... No, no! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon. Today we're going to try out a new weapon just released, the Luna Blaster. And if you missed our first full Splatoon stream, Splatter Day Night Live, it's part of the series playlist. We actually did really well, tried out some new weapons, and went up a few ranks and levels, so definitely check it out if you want to see some exciting matches. Let's go buy that new weapon, though. Hello, hello, what kind of weapon are you in the market for? Show me the newest one. We are fairly fresh today, so we can now wield the Luna Blaster. The Luna Blaster is a specialized shooter that can unleash explosive power at close range. Its rate of fire is good, and its blasts cover a wide area, but you'll need the Ink Zooka to hit far off foes. Oh, and the Ink Mines can really make a difference in the right hand, so this set is perfect for veterans. I don't know if we're quite there yet, but we're going to try it out. It looks very bizarre. It's kind of like beamed down from another planet. Maybe it's Octarian technology. I don't know, but we're going to buy it and equip it and use it in some matches. Thank you. We should check out the other shops as well because we are now fresh enough to get some new gear. Let's see. Here's Annie. Oh, uh, hello. Welcome to Cooler Heads. Uh, you're looking for uh, fresher than uh, a fresh machine that makes a freshness. Uh, please buy things. <laughs> what a poser. Let's see. So now, yeah, there we go. Our first piece of level three gear is in the shop. They should start popping up more and more as we level up. And Jalonzo should have some as well. Johnny Fresh. Thank you for your visit here. Tell are Nurse is your big freshness. New body cloths for you. <laughs> so we've got, ooh, this is nice. This varsity jacket damage up. Looks pretty cool as well. I think we just saw someone in the plaza with the varsity jacket. It had that cool me verse pose. And last but not least, Krusty Sean. What it do, Squiddo? Welcome to Shrimp Kicks. The slicker you get, the better kicks I can sell you. And real talk, you're looking stupid slick right now. All right, and we can get, ooh, these are really good. So I have ink resistance up on, but these would be even better because I have more slots, but I need a bunch more money. We spent a, a ton of it on that Luna Blaster. So let's go earn some more. So we're starting out with some Turf War because I still haven't played Bluefin Depot on this mode. We did a few matches with it in ranked, but I'm using a new weapon here, the Luna Blaster. So I want to try to test it out a bit in Turf Wars before we go into the high stakes world of ranked combat. So yeah, blasters, I do enjoy using them. They're kind of in the same group with me as, uh, as chargers, where if I get a little too close to one of my opponents, I kind of flail around like a squid out of ink, where I don't know if I can outmatch most people with a normal shooter weapon that has a higher rate of fire. So we'll see. This one has a pretty good spread, but it also looks like the range is very low on it. There's somebody right there. I'm going to leave a... Uh, See if somebody gets close, I'm going to start using my ink mines here. So let's leave one right there and see if they go around that way to try to sneak up on me, maybe. I don't know. Oop, somebody's, man, everybody's booyahing as we push in on their base. They do have an ink strike in our area. Let's see, I've got my ink zooka, so that'll help at long range, like Sheldon said. Let me see if my ink mine blows up. You can only have one ink mine down at a time, so it's kind of unfortunate. Oh, that was a player hiding there. There we go. Man, we got two of them. Uh, we, we can only have one ink mine down, so if you lay it, that's where it's going to be until it explodes, but it leaves a bit of ink around. You gotta be careful here in enemy territory, because they can easily sneak up on me. Yeah, I don't know the layout of this very well, so we're going to have to try our best to see if we can learn it on the fly here. Well, we did a bit of it, of course, in ranked, but yeah, splat zones, I was mostly focused on this little spot down here on the side that was the area that we had the ink. There's no little bridges this time in Turf Wars, which I kind of figured. That way you can't just jump right over. Somebody j <laughs> That one little inkling, I've definitely been there. Jumped right into the water. Oh no, should have laid a mine. I haven't used my Inksuka yet. Man, I was just kind of holding onto it there. I should definitely use it. They're taking the right side. I'm gonna go to the left because I think most of my team is on that side. And as you can see, someone just did an ink strike there. So I can go clean that up with my own mess. Here we go. Someone's probably gonna move in over here. There we go. Yep, I can tell. I'm gonna see if I can lure them over this way. And maybe they'll go onto my ink mine. Or they'll go around the other side. I can't tell. Whoa! They're throwing blast bombs all over the place. Don't have quite enough ink to. Oh no, this is gonna be rough. Gotta get my. Oh! And will that take him out? No, he's not close enough. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it hasn't blown up yet. You can see my ink mine is still sitting there. We're doing okay, but they're pushing in. Alright. 
is when I'm going to try to maybe jump to my buddy over here, since he's deep into enemy territory. Let's see if I can get some of this on the side. Look out! That arrow spray almost got me. You see, the, the rate of fire on these shooter weapons is typically so much better, so I have to be extra careful. If I miss a few of my blaster shots, even though they're really strong, I'm going to be in trouble. A little bit more terrain here, and uh, should have enough to use my Inksuka. Let me see. Oh, look out! There's somebody else super jumping in, so let's quickly lay an ink mine and... No, no! <laughs> I got the one, but <laughs> got hit behind. All right, I think we got this one, though. A couple seconds left. Not enough time to do much, but shoot one last <laughs> shot out to get a little bit around our spawn. I think we got it. So yeah, th it's tough. The area right around where you jump back on is, like, inaccessible to the enemies except with ink strikes. So it's kind of interesting, kind of like salt spray rig. There we go. Didn't do too bad for our first shot. And, uh, yeah, that, that seems like you could poke your eye out with the Luna Blaster. <laughs> that one prong that sticks out would be pretty brutal. Gotta be careful with it. Okay, let's do some more. It's very strange playing Bluefin Depot not in, like, the evening or night, like, in single player when we fought the Octolings or the Octo Striker. But we'll see that again when Splatfest comes. We'll have some nighttime neon ink shining around. All right. So, yeah, I'm not really doing as much with coverage, so I think the blaster weapon's probably a bit better if you're playing ranked because then you can, you know, focus on taking down your opponents. There's a lot of greats in this level that you got to be careful as well, because on some of them, you're just going to fall right into the water, as we saw our, uh, our opponent do last time. Here we go. But yeah, this weapon is crazy. It looks like it could come from uh, Space Station Silicon Valley, or, or not, uh, what am I thinking of? Space Channel 5, there we go. Those titles are kind of similar. Didn't get anybody with that, but they're kind of hanging out there. I don't know if there's no way to jump between these, which is interesting, so if you have... <laughs> what is that guy doing? If you have a short-range weapon like mine, you're going to be in trouble because you can't shoot people over the other side. Okay, let me make sure no one's trying to make their way over here as we ink this up. Uh-oh. Well, someone definitely was if they ink-striked it. Right, let's try to back it up. i got to make sure I've got that escape route because squidding away is pretty important when somebody's got a higher range weapon than you. Maybe I'll go around, up and over, if I can get through this. There we go. All right, we're going over this side. <laughs> that side, it seemed like it was kind of a stalemate with people. There was another player of my team over there trying to defend it. Let's jump in and lay an ink mine. There we go. My buddy took them out pretty handily there. Yeah, the ink mines, they're a little weird. I feel like people can dodge them pretty easily because if you hear it's going to explode, just, you know, back up with your squid and you'll probably get away scot-free. All right, let me see if we can play one of these and back it up. Maybe that'll get him. Nope, I got two of my Inksuka, though. So if I can get over here and look out, there's someone right there. Oh, almost got him, no! That one Inksuka shot, like, just went by them, but because they're on the other side of the globe, they might not have actually been there at the time. It's the little problem with playing with players from different regions. All right. They're pushing in on both sides a little bit. I think this side is a little more heavily contested. Man, they've got the uh, burst bomb barrage there. Let's get them. Oh, no. I'm not close enough. Man, yeah, blasters, especially this one, is so short range. I think the normal blaster and the rapid fire blaster might have a bit better in terms of how far it can shoot. The rapid one definitely has a lot more shots per ink container. Let's see if I can get in here and help my buddies out. They're right there. Let's leave that and back it up. Maybe they'll try to follow me over. Man, they're shooting from down there, too. They're hanging out, like, right around the corner, or at least somewhere close by. There we go, I got one. All right, we really have to push in, or we're going to be in trouble here. They're doing a lot of damage. Oh, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> one of the effects of not knowing the map, I was like, oh, I could jump right off here, and uh, I'll be good. Right, I'm going to jump in, try to do some blasting, if I can. And get up here. Oh, nope. Yeah, this is pretty close, but I think they might have taken it. Oh, we've got a lot in their territory. That was, we were doing so well, and then, oh, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> Scared me a little bit, because they really pushed back, especially on that top side. But we did it. All right, let's do one more with this blaster, and then we'll switch to the rapid fire one, and we can compare. So yeah, even though I'm used to the roller and the ink brush, which are very close range weapons, I don't know if I really like the Luna Blaster. It's so close range that you saw a couple times I was, yeah, we, we're gonna go against two Splatter Shots normal and two Splatter Shot pros, so I really have to get in there if I'm gonna. 
get any of these guys, otherwise they will just simply outrange me and take me out in a couple shots. Blasters, they have the advantage of being able to splat a foe with less shots, but I feel like it, it doesn't matter sometimes because if, if you're fighting somebody with a rapid fire weapon, then they're just gonna get taken out anyways, or they're just gonna take you out anyways with only a few more shots, so it's like, yeah, I don't know if it's worth it to go with the blaster and the ninja squid and jump over at the right time. Get him, get him, nope, <laughs> too close, or too far. <laughs> Need to get a little closer there, but it's tough when their ink is everywhere. Yeah, the splatter shot, despite being a basic weapon, a lot of people think it's really good. The tent attack especially has really good specials. I think one of the cool things about this game is they give you some of the best or better balanced weapons right off the bat. You get the roller, you get all that good stuff, and uh, well, we can't set that there. We'll try to set a mine somewhere here. I can't get my ink back when I'm behind. Ah, oh, I took him out at least. Marco was giving me a lot of trouble on that side. But my friend's going over there, and we got an ink strike. Okay, so I'm going to try to back him up right where I died. Here we go. My ink mine might have exploded in a little bit. They're pushing in. Okay, let's put this one right here. And then maybe they'll move around that side. Oh, there's a guy up there. I don't know if my blaster can shoot that far. Let's be careful here. If I get a little bit of coverage, I can squid my way up. My ink mine blew up. I've got a, another somebody has a ink mine as well. i got a couple players with them. All right, there we go. Now I can get my way up. I think the other players are really pushing in, doing a good job here. Let's leave one right in the middle, and then we'll see if uh, someone jumps down on that. Yeah, I can tell they're going to jump in here. There's somebody right there. I don't think I have the range to get them. Oh, man. That was one of... I thought that was one of our players, but that was three. I was, like, shooting around the one player because he was so covered in blue ink that I thought he was one of ours. Let's see if I can jump in. We're almost all dead. Got to be careful here. They're going to be pushing in. All right, let's drop one right there. Let's see if we can look out. Oh, no. Ugh. I got that ink resistance, and that probably saved me there. We were going to be in trouble getting onto their side. All right, my buddies will probably go back over and uh, get that other side there. They're just trying to pick us off from over here. Oh, no. They're everywhere. Jeez, that mine might take him out. Yep, okay. At least Marco went down. And uh, did we lose a player or something? Because we're having a lot of trouble now, whereas we were doing pretty well in the beginning. Let's see. I'm gonna try to ninja squid over. I can get enough ink here. I might be able to get my ink zuka, but I doubt it. We're running out of time. Less than 10 seconds here, and I'm not covering much terrain. I think that's the big gripe I have with blasters, is that they do not cover much, and they uh, don't get you many points in Turf Wars. They're probably a lot better suited to... Oh! <laughs> I thought I was gonna fall in the water. Yeah, I feel like we lost a player there, or something, because I kept seeing only one person on my side going around. Man, that was a quick turnover. Okay, let's switch to the other blaster and see how we do with it. Let me check these scores here to see. Yeah, we lost two players. Okay, they were doing so well at first, and then they just both disconnected. Really unfortunate there. That's why we, <laughs> we got so kicked right in the little inkling boot. All right, let's switch it up. So we're using the Rapid Blaster now, and we're going over Assault Spray. I think the ink mines will be pretty useful with some of these narrow corridors and bottlenecks. You can put them in very deliberate spots. We're going up against a Luna Blaster. So this one shoots quite a bit faster. It looks a bit thinner, you can see, yeah. Uh, but it shoots a lot farther, so I think I might survive a bit better with this. Still has the ink mines, but its special is the Bubbler, which is that get-out-of-jail-free card, kind of like the Kraken. But you can help your buddies out as well, even though it doesn't, you know, make you have these invincible kills like the Kraken. Try to jump over this way. Gotta remember not to spend too much time trying to ink walls because that does not count for your score. All right, there we go. Let's get a bit here. I've got the Ninja Squid ability. I'm drop one of these right there if we get enough ink. Gotta build up a little more. There we go. And then someone coming through there will probably get blasted by that if I'm lucky. I'm doing okay. Somebody snuck through because I can see a bit of that green ink. Oh, okay, that blew up. Yeah, the ink mines do not last long. I'm gonna leave one there and try to defend this spot. This is a big choke point here where if we can hold this top platform, we should be sitting pretty on a lot of terrain, but we don't want to neglect the rest of it. I've seen teams have this top platform secured and still lose because the rest of the map is, you know, in trouble there. There's a roller trying to get through, but will he make it? We'll see. My ink mine's right there. He's gonna try to do it. Gotta be careful and set another one as soon as that blows up. 
Here it goes. Put another one down. And they were waiting. They could go over those side parts, though, if they ink it up. So, gotta be careful about that. Got some range with this blaster. It's not doing too much. Man, my mind's gonna explode again. Here we go. Yeah, really holding them off, but I, I think my buddies have taken most of the upper platform, so we should be pretty good here. I'm gonna try to keep this. Oh, look out! Ah! Oh, bubble! Ah! I forgot I had the bubbler until the last second there, and I got splatted. All right, I gotta hold that. Man, everyone left the top platform. I needed to, uh, I need to defend that, so I'm gonna quickly try to go over there. Let's see if I can hang out with my buddy here to get a little bit more space. Pick that out. Drop one of those. Let's go on this one. It's almost down. Here it is. All right, let's see if we can make our way back there, because there's a lot of greens over here. No! Ah! Didn't have my bubbler yet and got ganged up on. Alex snuck around. He's got my back. All right, thank you, random player. <laughs> a few, again, there might be some people that have uh, played Smash a bit with me that pop up here, so let's see. All right, gotta go up a little sneakily this time. I think they're tracking me, because I can see a line. Could be one of their players, but I can't really tell. Let's drop one of these here and make my way through. Need to get enough terrain to get my bubbler and remember to use it this time. There we go, that's another player on my side. Oh man, yeah, there's definitely someone down here. I see him. They've also got a blaster. It's the Luna Blaster. Oh man, I took him out. But if, if we push enough, I, there's another player there. He might be able to take enough of that terrain for us to win. Ooh, we just ink striked. Okay, I think we're good. Let's get the rest of that. Yeah, somebody ink striked our platform. I think we got this one. Did a bit better. I think the range of the Rapid Blaster I prefer. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's do one more with this. The Luna Blaster, a cool looking new weapon, but I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it just because of the range that it lacks. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be the last one here. Win or lose, I'm, I'm saying it now <laughs> for sure. But unfortunately, I think you guys probably heard the news by now. I talked about it on Splatter Day Night Live, the stream. The Splatfest has been postponed for a little while because they need to sort out some matchmaking issues. So unfortunately, we got to wait a bit longer for the Splatfest, but I think it's better to have it in working order than to have it, you know, not have as good matchmaking systems set up when we're trying to fight as many fights as we can, as many matches in Turf Wars. So Splatfest will be coming up sometime, and I'll still be streaming that. But I'm going to try to do more of those Splatter Day Night live streams on Saturday. We get, I think, a good 16 shots with this Rapid Blaster before it runs out, which is pretty cool. There we go. You'd think that it wouldn't have as many because it uses such a huge amount of ink when it shoots out those little globs. But yeah, so please still look forward to Splatfest, and uh, <laughs> we'll be doing that sometime here once they announce it. Still no news on when it's going to... There's some. There's a Miiverse post on the side there. Not worth dying for, but I saw it there. Everybody's like pulled up on the left side there. There's a big fight going on. I'm going to try to take the right side here. There's some spots that we've been missing. It's always kind of frustrating to play a weapon that doesn't have very good ink spread when I, I notice a lot of spots that is like missing on the, on the terrain. So I'm like, if I had a roller, I would totally get all of these spots covered. All right, let's do this and then back it up. See if I can get them to walk over here. That, oh, there we go. I got him without. Somebody's hiding right up there, but I might be able to hit him with my blaster there. There we go. <laughs> and I got my bubbler, so I gotta remember, pop that bubbler when I need it. Ramps don't give you as many terrain points, even though they still count, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm gonna try to push in here and get a bit of ink set up. Let's look out. And there we go. I bubbled. I don't know if it's going to help. I kind of used it at a weird time there. There we go. My mine got him. And get the other player here. Oh, no. My bubbler ran out. There we go. I still got him. They had a tough time getting me. I lucked out there. All right. I keep my ink high. We are deep into enemy territory. Let's try to get over here and set it up for when somebody inevitably tries to come back over here and get their revenge. Took out quite a few players there. Yeah, the little blaster streams on this one, not as, you know, as wide as the the Luna or the normal blaster is pretty cool, but it's it's not bad. I like it still. Try to get them up there. There we go. Okay, don't want to group up with my buddy, but we both kind of like strafed the same way. Somebody might come across that little vulnerable spot there, that grid. They've got the left side secured pretty well. Let's throw one of these right there. I'm gonna look out, because I think somebody's gonna try to come over here. I think I can get some of this terrain up there. Oh, somebody's right there anyway, so might as well try to do that. There they come. 
They are very vulnerable there on that little ramp, so let's bubble it. See if I can get them here somewhere. Where did they go? Oh, I'm in their terrain. What's up with that guy? That one player is just kind of hanging back. They might have disconnected. <laughs> They're just falling in love with the steps. All right. Well, we got a win to go out. I think they probably had somebody disconnect, which is unfortunate. But there we go. Went out like I like to with a nice win. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a suggestion in the comments about what, what weapon you want to see. And ooh, that was our best one yet, I think, with that little blaster. Still not great terrain coverage, but very fun to use. And let me know if you want to see more Splat Zones, more Turf Wars, what mode you like the best. I'll see you next time for some more Splatoon.